the No Fake Channel, checking in. On this episode of Dad's Home Gym, I am going to be going through the tail of the tape comparing Rogue Fitness's Echo Bike to Titan Fitness's brand new fan bike. Now, if this is your first time to the channel, do me a massive favor and hit that subscribe button down below. On this series, on this Dad's Home Gym series, I review a piece of gym equipment on every episode to help you decide what's going to be best for your home gym what's gonna be best for your workout regimen, and most importantly, what's worth your hard earned money. Now, Titan Fitness just released, as of 2021, their brand new fan bike. Almost identical, at least at first glance, to Rogue Fitness's Echo Bike. It's a variation of an Airdyne, and I thought it would be ideal to just go through all of the key points to help you see the forest from the trees to figure out where the big differences are and which one is going to be right for you. Now, full disclosure, I have not had a chance to jump on Titan Fitness's fan bike. I have used Rogue Fitness's Echo Bike for three months now, and I am a huge fan of it. But simply put, I just because I love the Echo Bike doesn't mean that it's right for you. There are some big differences in these bikes, and even though I haven't gotten on top of the fan bike from Titan Fitness, I thought it would be ideal to really do a head-to-head -head battle so you don't have to switch back and forth between websites. I'm going to put all the information up here so that hopefully at the end of this video, you know which one is going to be right for you. So first, let's quickly talk about the companies. In one corner, we have Rogue Fitness, probably the premier top of the line, top shelf, uh, home gym equipment company. They've been growing leaps and bounds since their origination, and they simply are top shelf. A lot of their equipment is Pay that man, his up man. there, man. The price points are typically high, and usually with those high price points, almost universally across the board, not with everything, but almost universally, those high price points lead to extremely high quality of equipment. Conversely, we have Titan Fitness. The budget basement home gym retailer people do love titan fitness because the prices are so low and they have free shipping on everything making it very beneficial if you're only going to be buying one piece of equipment in fact titan fitness really has just copied rogue fitness everything from the design of the website to the logo rogue fitness has even gone as far as to sue Titan Fitness for theft of their intellectual property, of their logo, etc. But that's not what this video is about. It is about a head-to-head -head battle between Rogue's Echo Bike and Titan's Fan Bike. Now listen, at first glance, these things look very, very similar. And frankly, they perform the same function. You move the arms, you pedal the bike, and you burn a ton of calories. Boom, it's an Airdyne. The design of an Airdyne has been around for forever. But obviously, there's been a lot more bells and whistles that have come along with it. The first category in Tale of the Tape is one that looks cut and dry and probably looks to be the most important, and that is cost. Oftentimes, when, when comparing two pieces of similar gym equipment, we gravitate towards what we think is, is lower cost and higher value. And many times, the higher cost tends to be better value, but not always. And as a frugal dad, I do tend to try to get a good bang for my buck to make sure that I'm not just going with the higher priced item because I perceive it to be better. I want to make sure that it's something that the bells and whistles that are going to go with that higher price are something that I can use. So at first glance, Rogue Fitness, $775 with free shipping. It's probably one of the only things that ships free. $775 gets it to your front door. With Titan Fitness, it comes in at $629 and free shipping. But there's devil in the details. So the initial price point of differential is $146. Now that's a big, big factor of price. That's not just $100, that's $146, but there's even more savings with Titan Fitness's fan bike. Where is it? Titan Fitness comes with a bottle holder, it comes with a phone holder, and it comes with a guard for the front of the fan guard, right? Those three extras do not come with Rogue's Echo Bike, obviously. You can purchase them for an additional fee. If you buy all three at once, you do get free shipping, and that's an extra $40 total. So the price gap currently, at, as, as we're kind of going through the back of the envelope calculation, is $186, nearly $200. Keep in mind, there's a little bit extra of a benefit of going with Titan because they do have a point system. What is it? If you log in, sign up for an account, you essentially get... $5 back for every $100 you spend towards a future purchase price. 
So if you spend $629, you essentially have a $30 coupon for a future purchase of some of their equipment. And because they have free shipping, that actually is a pretty good value. Keep in mind, question then becomes, are you going to use those three extra bells and whistles? Personally, I don't use a bottle holder or I never will use a bottle holder because I'm not going to be on the bike that long. Frankly, the longest I ever plan to be on that bike is maybe 20 minutes on a really horrible day that I want to just beat myself up, but not something where I'm going to be taking sips of water between working out. So I think the bottle holder itself is relatively useless. I think the phone holder does have merit, which really tied to our phones so often. So I do think the phone holder is something you would use if you have it. Now, the wind guard is one of those things that I think some people definitely need and some people can live without. I have a home gym in my basement. It's super cold when I work out in the morning. And when I'm first using that Echo bike and I'm warming up, all of that cold air in my face is frankly an inconvenience. If I had a garage gym, that cold air would be even worse and I would really need a, a wind guard. I definitely think a wind guard is something that many people would benefit from. Conversely, when I finish my workout and I'm on that echo bike and I'm just kind of pounding out like two or three minutes just to kind of get the heart rate up, I'm already hot, I'm already sweating, that, that wind actually feels pretty good. So if you live in a cold environment or if you've got an outside garage gym or you're, just your gym in general is cold, that's something you're going to want if you live in Arizona and the coldest it's going to get in your home gym is like 60 degrees. It's not something you're going to actually use. But clearly on price point, you're going to be paying probably closer to $200 when it's all said and done, especially if you use Titan Fitness's point system to kind of recoup that money on a future purchase. Let's quickly talk about build quality. And oftentimes that's something that matters to us because when you buy a piece of home gym equipment, you want it to last longer than you want to own the equipment. Ideally, the equipment will last well beyond when you are ready to just give it away or sell it and buy something brand new. You want it to last a while, let's just say forever for the sake of this discussion. And unfortunately, not all gym equipment will last forever. Poorly made gym equipment will malfunction, will break, will rust, etc. Now, personally, I've had the Echo Bike and the finish on the Echo Bike is top quality. It's a matte finish. When you pick up that equipment, when you put it together, you can tell that it is certainly built to last. It's heavy, it's durable. The finish on it is, is just thick in the sense of like, I can't imagine that thing rusting or chipping. Um, it's certainly built to last and everything about it tells you it is going to last. Now, Titan Fitness looks good in the photos, as you can imagine. No company is putting out marketing photos that don't look good. I haven't touched it. I haven't put it together. I will say previously, from my experience with Titan Fitness equipment, the finishes on their products to date, on the stuff that I've used, have been suspect. Yes, they suspect. typically don't have great finishes. They typically have like matte finish, but nothing special. Usually, the, the, the thickness of the steel or the components tends to be on the cheap side. And overall, their equipment is priced according to the quality that they give you. If I had to decide which one's going to be better quality in terms of the overall experience and which one's going to last you longer, I definitely got to throw my hat towards the Echo Bike, even though I've never used Titan Fitness's fan bike. One thing that we can analyze just from the schematics um, to try to determine quality, and that is really kind of like a big cloud type of uh, you know thing to discuss, but Rogue Fitness's Echo Bike comes in at 127 pounds. It is heavy, 127 pounds. Conversely, the Titan Fitness's fan bike comes in at 11, 111 pounds, excuse me, 111 pounds. That is a difference of 16 pounds. So 16 pounds doesn't seem like much, right? Because 16 pounds, you think of like a 25 pound weight, not even a 25 pound weight. But keep in mind that 16 pounds is probably all in the metal, in the actual construction, in the durability, in the thickness. So that 16 pounds does matter. Percentage wise, that's a good amount of percentage. That's almost 10% of the total weight. Uh, so Rogue Fitness comes in almost 10% higher than uh, Titan Fitnesses. And again, I don't have a calculator here. I'm doing back of the envelope calculations as we go. So again, if we're talking quality, if we're talking build and we're talking longevity, I think we are, I'm going to have to throw my hat into Rogue Fitness's corner. And again, everything we know about Rogue Fitness states that they really put together some top shelf equipment usually. And everything we know about Titan Fitness is that they're on the more budget side, which is nothing wrong with that if you're on a budget, but their quality of their build tends to match that price point. 
And the last category to put these two calorie killers against in the tail of the tape are attributes. We kind of talked about that briefly earlier in this video, but I want to go line by line on these attributes to figure out which one you're going to use and if it is worth your hard earned money. Now, Titan Fitness, they had the advantage of putting out their bike second compared to Rogue's. So what they did is they looked at Rogue Fitness's website. They said, what does Rogue Fitness's Echo Bike sell extra? What's an upcharge? And they put all of that standard. So they've got the cup holder, which I don't think anyone's going to bother using. They've got the phone holder, which is nice to have, especially if you plan to go longer on your Airdyne bike. They also added that fan guard, which I think is probably the biggest attribute extra that is going to be most beneficial to most people. They also added two extra things. They added a handle in the back, a big fat handle. Um, and that is good if you plan to move your Echo Bike. For me, I'm not going to move my Echo Bike. It's in one spot. And frankly, I don't move it at all. It's there. It's there to stay. And if I do move it, I can just bend down and pick it up. It's not that big of a deal. But if you're a person that has a really small space and you need to jockey stuff around, or if you're a person that plans to pick up your Echo Bike and move it outside to use and then move it back into the garage to put away, that handle is going to be something that you're going to appreciate. Not something you necessarily need, because I don't find any difficulty picking up the Echo Bike from the back end but it is a nice benefit and it's a selling point. The other thing that they put on here in the front are these big fat mother tires that are meant to be uh, used if you're gonna be going over turf. So if you have like, if you plan to be working outside on the grass, if you've got like a small gym with a turfed area and you wanna roll over it, they've got those, they've got those on their standard. Rogue's Echo Bike, you can't purchase those, but that's like another $70 upcharge. I will say in Rogue's favor, their Echo Bike has some really nice thick wheels, not your standard junk wheels. They're nice. I don't have any problem moving the Echo Bike around my basement. Um, but if it's again, it's all about what you're going to be using. And I happen to think that those two extras, the handle and those extra wheels, are going to only benefit people who expect to move their bike often and regularly and over turf, I guess. Uh, frankly, I think in most people, they're going to set up their Echo Bike and they're going to just leave it in one spot and they're only going to move it to clean up underneath it. That's about it. But I do know there are people with tight, smaller places that are going to be moving that bike around. And in those spots, those wheels and that handle might be a massive benefit, especially with a price point below, almost $200 below Rogue's Echo Bike. Now, I'm not going to declare a winner in this tale of the tape because certainly it's all about personal preference and use. Uh, you know, someone like me working out in my basement, I've got a different needs than someone working out in their garage or someone that's working out outside even. Um, frankly, it's all about what is going to benefit you. I happen to think that the Rogue Echo Bike is a great product, certainly an expensive product, but by no means is it overpriced. They're delivering top quality. I hopefully, I'm going to get my hands on Titan Fitnesses. Um, fan bike, I certainly think that they threw in enough attributes and the price is low enough to, to warrant taking a very hard look at that product. I'm going to drop links to both of these Airdynes in the description of this video. I do have a Titan Fitness affiliate link. So if you plan to go with Titan Fitness or if you plan to buy anything from Titan Fitness, click on that link. It is a free way to help out this channel and help me pay for the lights and the time it takes to edit this video. Hopefully you found it beneficial. Hopefully it saved you time from flipping back and forth between the web pages to figure out what is best for you and your use case. If you came this far in the video, give this video a massive like, hit the subscribe button. As usual, thank you for watching and don't save anything for the trip back.